hi good morning and welcome to another shopping vlog i being the great content creator that i am thought that i filmed an intro before i went shopping and i didn't i didn't film an intro intro or an outro so we're gonna do that now so welcome to my shopping vlog and this is going to be a little bit of a mess so we're not going to see like all the best goodies the way that other people get to unfortunately my store is always clutter disgusting it's tourist central so i filmed the best that i could <laughs> so you guys want to see all the stores that i went to what i got well then definitely keep on watching stop we have sephora okay so up first i walked inside sephora and i saw this huge display right here like look at all these liquid blushes and liquid lips and lip glosses i was so excited oh there's the way my favorite then i did see the charlotte tilbury this is like their new unreal sear glow like tinted foundation i don't know this is like the hollywood flawless filter i didn't like that so i knew i wasn't gonna like this so i did skip out on this but the display is super cute i really do like seeing the sephora to play displays then we see some bronzers i have some goodies from here nothing new that i wanted to pick up but i just like to see if there's anything new because sometimes they put stuff here but then i saw the patrick ta like this is the brand new like cream and powder duo highlighters i got two of the shades and i almost got the shade right here called my love i am so glad that i did not get this shade because i have sugar and baby and both are pretty but like i did not need both i just needed one like i'm trying to capture it right here this is cute but like i didn't need two shades i know realistically i wouldn't use these and these ones are super freaking creamy not me seeing the kazoo coconut frost y'all this scent right here got me as you can see i am like casually smelling it and then i'm like oh bitch i have got to have this because it smells so good plus i only had one left so like your girl needed it <laughs> i shouldn't buy it but i want it <laughs> then we do have the huda beauty these are their new like filtered blushes these are really pretty um i end up swatching them in my hand now the reason why i was swatching them directly on my hand is because they didn't have any of like the tester applications they didn't have like the q-tips that you take to dip into the product they had nothing nothing so i just ah so gross but i had to type a little bit onto my hand but these were the testers i didn't open up all the products like later on you'll see in the video but i was trying to see here i'm trying to look around and see if they have any more Corey asked they're like no i'm sorry we're out so i just had to tap these onto my hand these were super pigmented i originally almost went for the peach shade i'm so glad i didn't i ended up getting the cotton candy shade in this video you can see that i was like not going to get these but then i walked away and i came back i was like you know what they're so pigmented but i actually had this one in my cart and i'm kind of glad that i took it out because no mm, yeah okay Allie but we both know you ended up getting it you did let's not play here then I did not know that Ellis Brooklyn had body spray that was a shock to me and then I saw the fleur like vanilla skin everybody made a big deal about this perfume coming out I thought the spray smelled okay but like I don't know I wasn't so enticed with this like everybody else is it's it smells good but I definitely like easily passed on this Oh, we have Sol de Janeiro. I tried finding their new, like, summer scent. Couldn't find it. All right, up next, we're going to Ulta and possibly Books a Million, but definitely going to Ulta. Okay, so I am still on the quest to find the NYX Butter Bronzer and the NYX, like, Butter Blushes in person because I want to see what shade's best for me. This one, luckily, was not open, but the other ones behind it were all opened and swatched. I don't get what it is about these, but people keep opening them and swatching them. It's just so gross, and it's just so aggravating. Like, look at this right here. Now, granted, this is a tester, but like, what happened? What happened? I don't know. This Ulta has definitely fallen downhill, in my opinion. Like, their products were so used and gross. Like, luckily, I saw this and I almost got it, but then I saw how long the long what, uh, how long the wait was to just cash out. I was like, absolutely not. Plus, this lady behind me was destroying. I mean, destroying the next blushes. She opened up every single one of these. Every single one of these were opened, touched and swatched and i was like are you serious because i just genuinely want to try these out myself i know i could just buy them ulta and ultimately i'm going to but like it just takes away the fun of shopping in person like she literally opened up all these i don't know if you guys can see the swatches were like how gross like who would want to buy that like who would want to buy that and sadly it keeps happening more and more to this particular ulta and it's just I don't know, it's taking the joy out of shopping for makeup out for me. And it just, it really sucks. I really, really used to love this Ulta. This is when I worked at. Okay, these are the brand new. These are freaking fantastic, by the way. Love these. 
Okay, so then I was looking at the new like ABH like tinted balm boosting skin tint, but there was a guy like right in front of me that was just hacking up a lung and just coughing on all the products next to me. So I just kind of looked at these and I said, you know what, Corey, <laughs> like we gotta go. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so we just left Ulta and I was going to film more in Ulta but we encountered this lady who was at the NYX blushes, which I've been showing you guys, and she was opening up every single one, and she was swatching every single one in her hand. I mean, like literally opening them and swatching them. I told you guys what I showed you, which like just like things being opened and like the swatches. So he went and told one of the employees, like, hey, there's this lady that was just going over, opening all the NYX blushes, she was just swatching everything. The person came over and like started looking at them and she's like you sure that these are not the testers it's like nope we clearly saw her opening up all the blushes laying there so she's like i'm gonna go get my manager so i walked over to like charlotte tilbury section and i he, he came over to me and at first we thought well they're not gonna do anything about it right this is probably not they probably yeah. just don't care yeah like whatever right but then Corey saw the manager go over and take them all off the shelf. Yeah, she took like 10 of them. Yeah, and then put them behind the register and then we saw them swatching it themselves. <laughs> They're probably honestly just gonna throw tester stickers on them and then have more testers for the people to use, but like they can't sell them now. No. Once you rip open a product, you can't sell it. I'm just like, this is so gross. And so then I start pointing out like throughout the store, like different products that have been, you could tell they've been used and or like they're smashed inside the component. And this is why like it sucks because this is the Ulta that I used to work at like uh, 15 years ago now. I feel like it's been so long and it was never like that back then. But this is why like it sucks because it's the closest Ulta to me. I think the next one is like what? Half hour if not 45 minutes away. Something like that. So this is the only one I can, I can go to. And now I, ca I can't even go to this one anymore. I can't shop here. Like everything has to be done online at this point when it comes to Ulta because there's at least this store it's just becoming trash it's just becoming pure trash so then we decided to go to books a million right next door because <laughs> they're having a massive book sale but the book sale was not a book sale it was like some books are five dollars rush like probably getting 50 percent off but anyway we saw this guy got a pup cup for his dog super cute mm -hmm. but <laughs> i'm so embarrassed she's like standing in the middle of the aisle just staring at this dog and the guy looked over and he's like do you need something? I just went, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Just like, your dog is so cute. We have dogs at our homes. So our dogs are the same thing. He's like, oh, my dog's directly here. I was like, that's cool. Cause like, I'm sure I have a resting bitch face. So like, I'm sure my face was just like this. Just <laughs> staring. <laughs> but in my mind, we were just going, this is so cute. Like he must've looked over at me and I wasn't smiling. So he felt the need to justify himself. But like, I'm like, bro, no dude, mm -hmm. I love dogs. Your dogs can have whatever like they want. Like I, I, I looked right at Corey, I said, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I was like, we gotta go. So I made us leave because I was embarrassed that this guy caught me just flat out standing there staring at him. It was like, I couldn't even act like I wasn't. It was, I, my whole body was facing him. Everything was just staring at him. It's embarrassing. Good job. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to Target and TJ Maxx see if we can find anything else and try to do the shopping vlog, but it's turning out to be not what I expected. I feel like always stories of my story of my life. Alright guys, next stop, Target. Maybe we'll have better luck here, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so anytime I show off my makeup collection, I always get asked about like the acrylics that I have in my drawers. This is it right here. It's from Bright Room. Just stackable trays. And they're like super freaking cheap depending on the size. Like this is literally what I use for my makeup storage. So easy. And then they literally stack if you want them too, but this is it. Bright Room trays love these great for makeup storage i always come and look at the book section because well, this is where i buy a lot of my books this and on amazon i'll see if i can find what i'm currently reading i heard this is hilarious so i actually went and bought this Okay, so after looking at the books, I went to the nail section. As you guys know, I have been obsessed with press-on nails. This is the brand I use. This is called Impress. These are press-on nails, but these are the no glue needed. These are the ones that already have like the adhesive stuck to it. But trust me, I still use nail glue. I feel like it's the only way to get them to have longevity to them and get them to last a while. Now, I'm very particular with my style. I like the short nails, and these Color FX ones are 
gorgeous. Oh my god, I get so many compliments whenever I wear these particular nails. You guys seem to love them just as much as I do. These are so pretty. Like these right here are the current pair that I'm currently wearing. Super pretty. And then I did just pick these ones up as well because like how cute are these, right? But I love this brand. They're so easy to work with like truly when it comes to putting on their stuff. This down here, this is the nail. This is the nail glue I was telling you about. I do two or three drops on the physical like back of the nail where like you strip off the adhesive or like the little plastic that holds adhesive and press it on for three seconds and boom, you are good to go. I will always have nail glue even though it says no nail glue. Um, then we looked over at Revlon. I was hoping to see something new, but honestly, they had like no new makeup over here. I don't really know what's going on and why I haven't been seeing any new drugstore because everywhere else is like getting new drugstore makeup online, but like in person, like my target's not getting anything. I did see some really pretty nail polishes from Sally Hansen. Like, can we talk about how gorgeous this is? Like what? This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So is this shade right here. Like... I was like blown away with how pretty that is. Oh, well, did you look at that? Elf has a full display for their bronzing drops. I really wanted to love this product, but sadly I did not, I did not find it good. And I tried multiple times to get it to work. Oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this brand right here. This is called Finery, this flower bed scent. It's to die for. It is so heavenly and very sweet smelling. Really do enjoy that scent. I also like the Magnetic Candy. The Pistachio Please is like a great like Maui like scent. It's really coconutty. Their perfumes, their body mist are amazing. I was surprised to see Makeup Revolution have a beautiful display. Like I saw these and I almost grabbed it. I truly did. I almost grabbed it, but I was like, you know what? I have a love-hate relationship with this product. I don't really need this. And their bronzing drops were shades a bit too deep for me, so I couldn't pick them up. But they at least had their stuff fully stocked and had new products on display, which I was impressed with. I mean, like, look at this little palette right here. This is super freaking pretty. Like, super pretty. I almost got it. Truly, I did. Okay. <laughs> these, luckily, were not opened. I was so happy to see these were not open, but y'all, I swear, the quest to find unopened ones has been real for me. I've been looking for, like, the last two months and these products launched. I, I just got, I'm gonna go online and buy it, because I feel like all I do is bitch you guys about it, but yeah, I really wanted to just find one, and I did. That wasn't opened. Still, one of my favorite mascaras. This is Maybelline Firework Mascara. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But I got so excited because they have a brand new product today at Target. This was a like Maybelline Brow Stay product. Super excited to see that first new display. And then this brand, I did see it over the Ulta section. I used to love this brand and my video somehow went like viral on YouTube a long time ago. It got like over 100,000 views. People think it's a paid sponsorship, but it's not. I wish it was. Pickled flavored ketchup. <laughs> Have you ever seen a pickle flavored ketchup before? Nope. <laughs> you want to get it? <laughs> what? Last stop of the day, TJ Maxx. Let's see if we can find some goods. Okay, so I have not been to TJ Maxx in a long time, but they have like the Urban Decay like wild collection. Now this came out a long time ago. So I believe this is like a lip product they had on display. I wanted to look at it, but it was only $5.99. So not a bad deal. And then they had some e.l.f. mascara over here. I've actually not tried this mascara before. Surprisingly enough, this one retailed for $6.99. I don't know why my voice just cracked, but it did. But their mascara display tends to be pretty nice over at my TJ Maxx. But I will say my TJ Maxx kind of like is lackluster when it comes to the makeup section. Here is like the MAC like stack mascara for $14.99. At that point, I'd rather just go buy it online with MAC where it's just a little bit more expensive. But I know it's in good quality. Um, we have a Christian Vuitton mascara. We have some, looks like some Maybelline products, some... Revlon and some billion dollar brow products. I used to be obsessed with this too, $5.99 or like $7.99. Not a bad deal when it comes to TJ Maxx. I was shocked to see this. I was shocked to see this Buxom product. Honestly, I don't know who still wears Buxom. I haven't seen anyone talk about this brand in so long, but to see a nice little lip kit here, I thought it was great. I think the price is $19.99, better than the $49 one that they probably would have charged, but it was cool to see that. I also saw all these little chapsticks here. I was wow like wow and i was like damn they have so much like look at how cute these brands are like hershey's and dr pepper dr pepper is my favorite soda i was excited to see that like pop tart this is so cute oh my gosh i thought these were adorable like blow pops come on i wonder if they taste the same <laughs> you know i gotta eat the stuff Okay, so then we're on to our lip section. Here is Makeup Revolution. We see Morphe 2 over here as well. 
we see some MAC. MAC is always going to be found in the lipstick section. Those are like, I think, $5.99. And then we see some Ofra. I have never seen Ofra here before. I was shocked. But can we talk about how dirty this is? Like, ill. Like, what are these covered in? Like, this is why I get a little iffy sometimes shopping. Like, look at that. Look at that right there. What is that? And also, what happened to Liquid Lip? Like, that's just gross. That is just disgusting. Like, I would never want to buy those because it looks just so gross. I don't want to even touch it. Then we see some Morphe products. This is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic Palette. I actually did a review on this palette so many years ago. I used to own this, but I did declutter it a long time ago because I got rid of a lot of my Ulta palettes. This right here was super cute. I've never heard of this brand before, but can we talk about how beautiful this palette is? Like, I was like, oh my God, Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. I thought this was so freaking cute. So cute. Then we have some brands that I don't know about. And then we have some Urban Decay. Do you guys remember these palettes right here? These are these Smile palettes. Do you guys remember these? I think they came out like last year or so, Smiley. $7.99, that's not bad. Not a bad deal for them whatsoever. Then we do have Emily in Paris. This is a product that came out, I wanna say earlier last year, I believe, or sometime last year. Some more palettes. We have, some, again, palettes. These are brands I honestly haven't heard of. We see Perfusion, our Makeup Revolution, sitting right in front. You never know what you're going to find because sometimes you guys can find some amazing deals over here and some amazing palettes. Like, you just never know. Like, oh, look at this. This is from Makeup Revolution. How old is this? I don't recall this palette ever being out, but also can we talk about how dirty it is? Like... <laughs> It's a little sketch. It's a little sketch. And I think this is a Stella palette right here. Didn't recognize this one either, honestly. I was trying to find some good ones to take home. But honestly, I just, I was not having any luck whatsoever. But what I did see, can we talk about this right here? ColourPop. I'm sorry. I have never seen ColourPop inside TJ Maxx either. This was a first, $19.99. Not really a discount. This is a pretty fresh palette. If you go onto ColourPop's website, I think this is like for $24, maybe not less. They always do sales and this probably will end up in a mystery box. I think they kind of overcharged it for TJ Maxx in my opinion. Then we see more ColourPop product products right here. We see some Car Beauty in here. And then right next to my hand, that's all Kylie Cosmetics. I'm sorry, I was trying to fix this. My bad. That's all Kylie Cosmetics, like the Wizard of Oz, Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie's officially inside TJ Maxx. And there's nothing wrong with brands being inside of here whatsoever, but really 20 bucks for that? Come on, that came out a long time ago. Why are we still charging such a heavy price? And then I see more ColourPop palettes. I have never seen in a day. So I'm wondering if this was made exclusively exclusively for TJ Maxx or these just came out and then they're now in TJ Maxx. I don't know, but these are great quality. They look fantastic. They're not destroyed. They're decently priced for the smaller ones. And then we see some more um, Kylie Cosmetics. Again, no one gives a shit about you, Kylie. <laughs> I say that nicely. Okay, so then we have Morphe too. Again, I have not seen these palettes yet. So these seem like they're nice newer ones. They just couldn't sell. This one I think says $7.99. Not a bad deal for that palette. It's actually kind of cute. It's kind of cute. We see some more ColourPop. That is ColourPop. And again, I've not seen that before. I was so happy to see some ColourPop products here. And I think, like I said, I think I could be wrong, but these might've been made for TJ Maxx. I know Glam, I said they're gonna be making palettes for TJ Maxx. I remember this one. And surprisingly, they weren't ruined, so I was happy about that. Look at this cute little palette. It's cute, I like it. And then we see some more Morphe palettes right here. Although I don't remember this one. I think this one might have came out last year, but 16 bucks, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then next we see some Revolution. These are looking great. It's $8.99. These are looking like they're in great quality. Those are not bad. Sometimes I try to find like foundations and stuff. I hated this mascara. It sucked. It's supposed to be like a, like a lash revival. It's supposed to revive your lashes out the day. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. But we see some milk products, some benefit products, and then we're going to move into some foundations. I look at the foundations, but more often than not, they're usually like used or the boxes are really gross or I can never really find my shades. So I just kind of like browse through here. I do see some Paracomb. I see a lot of Give. I see Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath in here way too overpriced for that brand that is way too overpriced for that brand for it to be here and what else do i see iconic london we see give by gwen Stefani. looks like these are going to be some blushes that are in here not bad great way to try the brand if you don't want to spend the full money 699 you really can't beat that you really can't beat that but i do make a recommendation if you guys are ever going to shop any of the products from tj max always just look at them too okay i have this i would not pay that money for that let me just see some moisturizers and some more cheek products. 
a lot of elf over here and then i try to find some perfumes i'm always on the quest to find perfumes from tj maxx i think they're just a great way to buy perfumes at such an affordable like cost like here we have clean reserve and i think this was like 19 bucks yeah not a bad deal not a bad deal at all but this is where i used to buy all my perfumes but for some reason i feel like their perfumes section has changed just a bit because i don't see them on display the way that i used to i used to buy like mark jacobs and britney spears and all that type of stuff and now they're not not really over here i wonder if they're having issues same thing with like skincare i used to find really good skincare over here and now a lot of them are boxed up because i think they've been having some theft problems but also i'm not seeing as much skincare as i once did not really sure what's going on with that, but you know what? It's always fun to see what you can find. Like, look at this cute little benefit set right here. Super freaking cute. A lot of Olay stuff and then more like body care stuff like Kapari and stuff. And then I found the perfumes, but they were in displays, but their section has dwindled so much from when I used to shop perfumes here. And I would always rec recommend people come here first to buy perfumes because you could buy it at half the cost and they're never open. They're never used, which is really, really nice. Okay, so because of how chaotic the shopping was and how gross all the products were, I surprisingly did not buy a lot. And I really wanted to because I wanted to buy some new makeup, but that ain't happening. So I only have a small little bag here from Target that I ended up getting. So I got makeup wipes because whenever I do swatches, a lot of times, whenever I do swatches, a lot of times trying to take off the swatches on my arm can be just such a pain. So I bought that to help take off swatches. I bought more nail glue because I told you guys in the video how much I freaking love this nail glue. It's what I use. I bought some candle um, candle melt to go in my candle warmers or wax warmers. I bought two of them because they're like $2.50 at Target. I got a room spray. I really wanted a fall room spray, but I didn't have it. So I just got a Japanese cherry blossom. It smells good. Lastly, I got a pair of nails. <laughs> That's literally all I got for my shopping spray. I wanted to buy more makeup, but unfortunately... You guys seen it for itself. It just was gross. So yeah, this is all I got my shopping spree, but hopefully you guys like this video. I'm sorry that it's always just chaotic, but hopefully you guys like it. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R4 to Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to this beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said i'll see you guys in my very next video bye hopefully the next shopping vlog is so much better